Two in a buffer, and it looks like she's held it. No one has come close yet. And the intermediate girls still looking for the next runner in the intermediate girls at that radio control. But Chelsea should be very, very close to the finish and handing over to her thirdly runner for Baradine College. And they will go out in the lead, barring any mistakes in the final section for Chelsea. Turning to the Sydney boys very quickly. These guys uh, through the second league run this top group about 10 minutes in just over. So current leading um, uh, in the finish was Amos Plumpton and then Felix Harrison came in just behind him. Um, so these guys should be too far away. The second league runners from coming in and punching the second control. Uh, the second, the first radio, sorry. So also at the junior girls league three from a composite team, Daisy York. We're off to league three already. So we're about to have, in the finish, our winner for the junior girls, barring the mistakes in this last little section, but Daisy York uh, for the junior girls. Her current running time, 13.20. This should be about three minutes away from coming into the finish. I'm still waiting for Chelsea Oliver. She's at the last control. And I can see her, actually, she's about to come around the corner. And this will be a big lead for Baradine. Uh, Chelsea handing over to her. Third leg runner. Uh, so Flint yesterday in the day before champion really striding out on the horizon over there. Um, and he should take uh, a third place out of the official teams. But Bailey will come in for us and Andrew's call uh, sorry for and the boys in to second place. Bailey comes up the hill, around the corner of the first, taking the boys into second place. And here comes Joseph Lynch. So Joe will undoubtedly have the fastest time of the day. Um,